Is it possible Cleopatra has any descendants alive today? Cleopatra had four children. Her eldest son was born on June 23rd in 47 BC. She called him Caesarion after his father Julius Caesar. However, his full name was Ptolemy XV Philopater Philometer Caesar. Caesarion was officially the last king of the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt. Although just a child, he ruled alongside his mother from September 2, 44 BC, until his death on August 23rd. Caesarion was the best known of Cleopatra's children, but he wasn't her only offspring. After Julius Caesar died, Cleopatra began a relationship with Mark Antony. Together, they had three children. Their first two children were twins, Alexandra Helios and Cleopatra Selene. The twins were born in 40 BC, making them only about 10 years old when their parents died. After the twins, Cleopatra gave birth to a son named Ptolemy Philadelphus. After Cleopatra died, all three of her children with Mark went to live with Octavia Minor, Mark Antony's Roman wife. All historical reports show she truly seemed to care for them and educated them with her own children. When she got older, Cleopatra Selene was married off to King Juba II of Numidia in about 20 BC. Numidia is located in what is now Algeria in North Africa. After her marriage, no further mention of her brothers Alexander Helios or Ptolemy Philadelphus were mentioned. Many historians believe that is because they died. Nobody is quite sure when or how. This means that any descendants of Queen Cleopatra of Egypt would have come from her daughter, Cleopatra Selene. We know that Cleopatra Selene and King Juba II of Numidia had possibly two children, but we know for sure they had a son, which they named Ptolemy of Mauritania and it's quite possible they also had a daughter named Drusilla of Mauritania, the elder. These would be Cleopatra's grandchildren. Ptolemy of Mauritania would follow in his father's footsteps and become ruler of Mauritania. He ruled for about 20 years. Ptolemy of Mauritania had at least one daughter named Drusilla, who would go on to be the queen of Emesa. She is known to historians as Drusilla of Mauritania the Younger. She was born in 38 AD. Drusilla would be Cleopatra's great-granddaughter. After Emperor Claudius executed her father, it's most likely she was sent to Rome to live with the imperial family. Around 53 AD, when Drusilla of Mauritania the Younger was just 15 years old, the Roman Emperor arranged for her to marry Marcus Antonius Felix, the Roman governor of Judea. Just a year or two later, Felix would divorce Drusilla as he fell in love with someone else. In 56 AD, Drusilla of Mauritania the Younger married her second husband, her distant relative, the Emersene priest king Simaeus. They would have at least one child, a son named Gaius Julius Alexian. Gaius Julius Alexian would be Cleopatra's great-great-grandson. Gaius Julius Alexion married Cladia Arius Calpurnius Silo of Syria. They had a son named Gaius Julius Fabia Samsicarimus III Silas. Gaius Julius Fabius Samsicarimus III Silas would be Cleopatra's great-great-great-grandson. He was also known simply as Silas, son of Gaius Julius Alexian. When his father died in 78 or 79 AD, he ruled as priest-king until his death in 120 AD. From here, it's hard to trace Cleopatra's descendants beyond a shadow of doubt. So, while it's true that Cleopatra could have modern-day descendants still alive today, as of now, we haven't officially tracked her family tree beyond the death of her great-great-great-grandson Silas. But as modern-day DNA tests become more common, you just never know what we may discover.